Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of this year's scrap. I don't read really because I forgot this <laughs> and everything else. <laughs> NRW. Okay. NRW. Devcom NRW in the expo. I can read. Hello everyone and welcome to another Let's Play of this year's DEFCOM NRW Indie Expo. And it's not only me, Astrid, I'm Astrid by the way, but it's also lovely André Bernhard and our guest, Shevin, who is from Team Mid-Autumn because we're going to play Mid-Autumn now. And we just learned that this is the first time that especially this build is going to be played. So Shevin will take some notes maybe of me failing through the game. <laughs> So yeah. another world premiere here. Another and world yeah, premiere. Thank, thanks for being oh. with us, Shavin. And no, thanks so much for having me. <laughs> I was just. I'm, I'm very excited to check the to check the build out and see what you think of it as well. <laughs> <laughs> At least you convinced us so far already that we are here and that we are doing this stream now. So um, <laughs> we are very excited as well. Oh, thank you. I need to check the settings again. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That the resolution got changed again. But oh, I made it. I made it to the right resolution in the first try. Nice. 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 <laughs> let's try. Let's see. It looks, everything looks nice and fine, right? Wonderful. Yes. Yeah, that looks good to me. Let's go. Me and so, my little controller. Mm -hmm. If you have to explain the game mid autumn in a nutshell, what would you tell? What would you tell people? Yeah, I, I tell people usually Mid-Autumn is a supernatural game. It's a dungeon crawler and a roguelite, um, and it's about blasting evil spirits, and it's also about um, Asian diaspora and, and gentrification. Um, you play as Robin Lamb, who will show up in the dialogue in a second, right here. Uh -huh. um, and they've um, just graduated from college. They're very directionless. They don't know what to do um, with their life, so they've crashed with their grandmother in a... Um, fictional town of Nambo Key, California. Um, and in exchange for rent, their grandmother gives them a magical staff and um, says, you've got to protect the spirit world if you want to crash here. And that is the start of the game. <laughs> sure. Magical sticks, wands from grandmothers who doesn't know the story. It's like, dating. but it's, it's super fast paced. Um, yeah, no, that's definitely, it was a, it was a big thing I, I wanted to do. I think a lot of people, when we play test this, say, oh, the, the movement feels faster than I'm used to. Yeah. But then after like a couple of minutes, they're usually used to it. Um, you you don't want to, to go be back very responsive. Then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> give me, I need my, so, give me my little uh, left click attack. Oh, it X. says left click, even if you're playing, if you're playing on a controller. <laughs> uh, remember that. Oh, that's <laughs> good. Increase max health, nice. I'm such a pro. So that, that's a prototype that we have, or you mentioned before that this is the, the demo, the first time that it's playable uh, uh, somewhere else somehow. So regarding the uh, progress of the game itself, how far are you done with the development so far? Maybe give yeah. a rough percentage. So um, this is a pre-alpha demo um, yeah. and we're going to be putting this out in a few weeks. We're actually launching a Kickstarter campaign on uh, the 3rd of September. Nice. Um, which we're, is the first time I'm going to be able to talk about it. So um, yeah, that will, yeah, I'd say that in terms no. of percentage of the game, um, I say pre-alpha really only because I consider alpha when you have a full skeleton of the entire game. Um, yeah. But all of our core systems are ready. We can make levels and uh, content and enemies and everything very um, quickly. I'd say in terms of actual content, we're about um, anywhere from like two thirds to two fifths done with the game, I'd say. Mm -hmm. um, the part of the thing that we're going to be doing with a Kickstarter campaign is seeing how big do we actually want to make this game? How excited are people about this? Um, how how crazy do we want to go with everything? Yeah. So um, depending on that, um, we're, we'll either be making you know like a smaller indie title type thing, in which case we're probably two thirds of the way there. Um, or we'll, we'll, who knows, <laughs> we'll, we'll make a <laughs> crawling nightmare of a game. Um, so, where, where should people, 
I need help, help. Ah, yes. So this is trying to teach you, and it's probably the, the hardest part of the tutorial um, until I find a better way to teach this. Um, this enemy is going to be shielded, but if yeah. you wait mm -hmm. until it drops its shield and you attack it right yeah. now, it but then go. my health could also reduce, right? Yes. Five <laughs> points. Yeah. That is that's a good point. I'm trying to teach you that that's going to happen, but I guess people might not want that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> My, I didn't like that so, function. I'll, I'll make um, a note. Maybe there is a way to do yeah. that. <laughs> Maybe you don't add five health points. That would be nice. <laughs> regarding um, regarding the Kickstarter, if people yes. are excited or the audience is excited about uh, the game after this little let's play, I mean, where should they follow you or uh, so they get the latest info about the game? Are you, uh, would it be Twitter, Discord, or? Um, yeah, we have um, we have a Twitter. I'm at S Uduwana on Twitter. Um, you can yeah. follow me there. We also have a Discord for the game, which will be doing a bunch of really fun activities during the, the Kickstarter campaign. So we're going to set up things like speed running oh. contests and things like that, and that will be done through the Discord. Um, mm -hmm. So that would definitely be the, um, one way people could follow up on the game. And then yeah, you uh, mid autumn on Kickstarter. Um, I can yeah. send all these links too if that's helpful. I'm not sure if there's a space for them, but... but um, I, I'm not quite sure whether we have the possibility to share it anyhow, yeah. but uh, definitely, I mean, looking for uh, Team Mid-Autumn um, uh, helps so far in, in finding the right spot to uh, get to know the info about the progress of the game and the upcoming Kickstarter. Yeah, um, I, I'm pretty sure if you search Mid-Autumn game, we're going to yeah. come up, no matter what you do. So. No <laughs> So tell us a bit, uh, what's the size of the team so far? How many people are working at Team Mid Um I would say that the core team is four ah. people. Um, we're all um, kind of Asian diaspora devs working on, yeah. on this and kind of putting our own um, spin on, on roguelites and what we want to do and, and kind of telling stories we want to tell. Um, I say core team, but you know, everyone has a has a day job. We're all working on this kind of as we get time in. That would definitely be one of the things that the Kickstarter could help with is seeing if any of yeah. us can actually work full time. Um, but we have a, also just a ton of people we're collaborating with who have been really helpful, um, <laughs> even if they're you know working um, on on just a specific part of the game. Oh, um, oh, oh yes, there's. There, there are spikes in this. Yes, in yes, this I get it. There are spikes in that. Ow, ow, Luna Rod, yes, ow. <laughs> go, go, go. Do that. Yes, I, I'd say this is a. Um, no. Nope. There's a, there's a bit of a difficulty ow, spike. In ow, this spikes. In particular. <laughs> <laughs> ow. I, I specifically ow. don't want, don't want people to get ow. past this room on their first try. Although if they, if you do, you can. But uh, I like I mean, it when Astrid is taking on a here? challenge. How do I actually survive here? You Not can. Like this. Uh, you can, <laughs> yeah, but right, how, I have, how do you We survive? haven't learned how to survive I, there I, yet. <laughs> I haven't learned. I see. Why didn't I learn that yet? Uh, well, this is teaching you this is a roguelite. You're going to, you're, it's okay to die. You can die, um, you know, a, a number of times in this game. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. it's totally fine because you're going to come um, here to this, uh -huh. uh, the town of Namboki. Oh, uh, nice. Which is a lot more relaxing than, than the rest of the game. Ah, uh, and then we meet the grandmother. Yeah, she looks very uh, nice. Grandmother Maggie. Um, I mean, you know, she forces me to get some money for the rent, but she actually looks very nice. She looks like a nice grandma, <laughs> except the money yeah, thingy. Their relationship is complicated. You know, oh. it's, <laughs> they're they're close, <laughs> but there's definitely like a you have to earn your keep here if you're saying. Um, <laughs> Hello, I did very good. Oh, oh there is a better fit for the job. Nope, I'm good at that job. Are, are there some roguelikes that, that uh, worked as an inspiration for you in this title? I mean, I don't know, Binding I, of Isaac. I, yeah, we definitely have looked at a lot of ones. I'd say that um, the, the largest inspiration I would say recently would be Hades. Um, ah, the, oh, yeah. the main thing, I think there's a, there's a few things that you could probably point to, but I'd say the main thing is um, having a narratively driven roguelite yeah. where kind of the, the reward of death is, oh, you get to experience more narrative. Um, yeah. This is something I've always kind of wanted to do. And I think like last, last year, 
when when Hades um, fully released, um, it was like a big like, oh, I'm I, we definitely should work on this. Now. This is not yeah. the best time to be working on this game. Um, but with, with tons of influences, definitely Binding of Isaac. You can tell from the perspective mm -hmm. and the kind of top down um, elements. Um, Children of Morda yeah. um, is also a big um, influence. No, I, think I don't want to try again. In terms of tone and, and, and the feel of the world. Um, <laughs> All right, yes, yeah, so this is just teaching you how Lunar Rot works for, for okay. real. Um, all the different ways you can get Lunar Rot, um, okay. which is this mechanic where um, if you... The power of the spirit world isn't isn't natural to you, so if you take up too much of the energy, it'll start to kind of poison you and um, deal damage. Um, but I mean, I can so, release uh, the energy by attacking with X, right? Yes, That's and how if I you release that energy, so if you wait too long, um, it'll take damage. Also, um, if like you now, for instance, yeah, but yes, exactly, and then you're going to lose your lunar rod. But if what ended up happening in the boss fight uh -huh. is if you are holding the lunar rod, uh, sorry, if you're holding the uh, lunar blood, it's called, and you, you walk into the spike immediately yeah. before it's rotted, it'll kind of um, crystallize. And yeah. you end up having a permanent lunar rod. Um, so, for example, if you walked into the spike right now, while instead of shooting out the the, the projectile, you want me to do that? Okay. It is in intentionally. Oh. Oh, <laughs> so now it hurts so much. you'll notice. Oh, oh, oh. exactly. So now oh. it's not going away. It's so this away. is what you really want to avoid in the in the game. Because once this happens, it's very hard for you to um, survive. To, to survive long term. I'm, I'm um, but if you like go into the them. top right corner of this room, you'll also notice. Oh no! Um, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just go away. I just go away from dying. It's fine. You can go where you are. <laughs> bye bye. Um, I, I'll I'll save that for for when it comes up later. Was <laughs> <laughs> well, that eight hundred others in my district? It's nothing. Okay. What is your name? It's Robin. Well, okay, let me check that upper corner because you recommended it. That's a oh, nice so corner. If you first, if you get some lunar rot intentionally, yeah, pick up like if you pick up all five, six um, of the lunar blood in this room. So you can also get lunar rot by holding too much of it. Um, so that's also a thing. To but be is it, what about. are we doing now? Is it like um, let's <laughs> let's kill Astrid? Or what are we? I'm not feeling comfortable. Oh. <laughs> Oh! But what I wanted to point out is if you go to the oh, bottom yes. left corner now um, and you use that, there will uh, be items in the dungeons that can heal your lunar rod. So um, there, is, it's not a death sentence. It's a, uh, it's a. Uh, you should um, watch out once this starts happening. But there are ways. The day's rent. Okay, I see. I need to earn more rent, right? Oh no! I, let me actually. You should be able to go even like if you have reward. no money. <laughs> Um, it's just, uh, you, it just takes, Maggie is going to take 90% yes, of your, of your Maggie money. Maggie such a nice grandma. Um, such a nice grandma. So, what do we have here? <laughs> Receive gift. Yes, what's in the gift box? Ancient looking spirits, Boris, interview. Okay. Ooh. Hello, my friends. Bickering? Okay. Are these um, are these NPCs that you're going to meet? Are they based on real Asian um, lore somehow, or are they they made oh, up like when you? That's a good question. Short. I I'd say that um, the vast, I think you know, the entirety of the characters in the, in the game you meet are going to be entirely fictionalized. Yeah. Um, we actually do. That is a common question we get with playtests: whether people are people are wondering um, whether these are actual deities or, or gods or, or spirits yeah. um, from mythology. And we're um, we're definitely drawing from a lot of those, um, like our own cultures, and, and putting that in. Um, our, our lead, um, our narrative lead, CC, is, is um, has a Chinese background, so that's kind of a, a big kind of okay. influence there. Um, and, um, but no, we, we really did want to kind of tell something original and, and uh, make our own setting um, here instead of um, drawing too heavily from existing mythologies. 
Yeah. So which oh, Astrid, one do which, you, yeah, which do one you recommend? Which one do I recommend? <laughs> yes. I, I don't recommend either of these. Uh, I That's think, the right answer. I think, um, I mean, people might disagree with me. I think these are both very good. I use both of them um, all the time. Um, wh what I've noticed is people tend to be very, um, like they tend to prefer one over the other. They tend to, uh, everyone I play test this with is like, why would you take the other one? Um, but <laughs> but it's, it's pretty 50-50 split. Um, I mean, your last shot, I mean, con yeah. Why would you take that one? I mean, your last shot. Do you shot. want to be, do you want to play more aggressively or do you yeah. want to um, have, make it easier for you to survive? Aggressively. <laughs> yeah, take the, take the red one. <laughs> <laughs> sure, take the right one. Good, nice. What are we doing now? Going in there, nice. Yeah, so this at this point, this is should be familiar Ooh. to you. Although I guess yeah, there's new enemies here. Oopsie, <laughs> that are a lot of. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, you don't need... This is great. Um, even when I play this, sometimes it, uh, these enemies will like just I, I miss time an attack, and then <laughs> it gets very yeah. hard for me very quickly. But. Um, it's totally possible to get through this whole area without taking damage. Um, uh huh. If you're if you're managing your distance and everything. Um, oh! But I'm I'm. Huh. Yeah, you're still. I, we can't see our actual health, but I think you're at. It's full. It's full. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Because I'm such a pro. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Bam. And first plan, do you want to release the game on PC or? Yes, we're definitely focusing on PC first. We're um, going to target controller support um, and we're definitely yeah. developing it as if we're going to launch on consoles. Um, so I'm making sure we're not making it uh, difficult on ourselves. Um, you'll need to, yeah, pick one of those, I guess. When you only have one, it's a bit... Simple choice. Yeah. <laughs> but... Um, I, yeah, we definitely want to release on console. I think the, the big thing is we're a small team. Uh, we want to see yeah. what the level of interest is in that um, to make sure we can actually afford to do it. Uh, but I, yeah, I, I pretty much play this with the controller all the time because it's uh, more fun in my opinion. Um, but it's set up, it's slightly different when you're playing with the controller. It, uh, your projectiles fire where you're facing. Versus yeah. when you're playing with a with a mouse, it'll be more like a twin stick shooter kind of feel. Are you a customer? Maybe, maybe I'm a customer. Let's see. <laughs> the hell? Coming here. Yep, yep, yep. Why do I always tell everyone my name? Show me your stuff. <laughs> okay, read of it. I carry swords of products. Okay. Jade rings. Mm -hmm. He yourself. <laughs> when I'm going to take a look around, take as much time as you need. On the house. Okay. Yeah, so just in case people don't have enough money with the first time they get here, which is pretty likely, like me? we give you we give you a first, uh, just the first bit of money um, <laughs> to make sure you can at least buy one thing. Which is probably actually since you're doing you're doing well. You probably won't even need the the lunar rod purge here, <laughs> which is the cheapest item you can get. I'm actually I don't know. What do you think? Maybe this one or this one? I think those are actually probably uh, yeah, they're too expensive right now. So you I know. Get 50, uh... I only get fifty. So you know what? I won't spend anything. I will just go save bye bye. It. Yeah, you can save it. I can save it. Pow! Oh, what is going on here? That looks interesting. Luna Rod, what? No, 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 no. Oh, done. Already done. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if it's not obvious, uh, some of the dialogue here, um, it, it's randomized. So you're not always going to get the same conversations in the same order. Yeah. Um, so you're... Yeah. That's definitely like a thing that we we really liked about Hades, for example, and we really wanted to do that with um, it on as well. Um, I just like the idea of people getting different conversations in different different yes. orders and, and kind of getting different coming to different conclusions about the characters based on what they hear first. Um, yeah, that's that's what you need to pay rent. <laughs> hmm. 
You know what? Unfortunately, our time is running out. Hmm. Hmm. I hear a high pitched squeak. <laughs> yeah, I know. What's you know? One so this is not okay? the worst room to end in. In this mysterious room that has a, a, some high pitched squeak going on. Well, I mean, um, or it wants yes. Someone is gonna come three. Ah, uh -huh, I see. So, because someone was here before. Yeah, sometimes you will come to rooms like these with landmarks, and um, there will be different things going on. So um, there's like a mystery going on in this room that over yeah. time, once you're visiting it, um, something, I can't tell what is going to happen, but it involves those giant footprints. Do I remember yeah. right that the next chamber was the boss fight? I think it'll be, I think this is about halfway through this area. Um, uh -huh. when, was that when the, the mystery room shows up? So I'd say you probably have... Um, three or four rooms before oh, the boss fight. Then I'm very sorry, but I think we won't make <laughs> it again to the boss. No oh, worries, there's plenty of stuff in the, the demo. We'll be um, launching it officially um, on September 3rd with the Kickstarter. Um, mm -hmm. And there's, it will go up to the first boss and a bit of the second area of the game. And we'll mm -hmm. actually be releasing the second boss of the game to the demo so it'll go live to everyone who has downloaded the demo on the yeah. real life mid-autumn festival on the 21st uh -huh. so yeah, I just, um, cool. just thought it would be a f more fun to do it that way than to have everything in from the yeah beginning. sure that's um, a great idea and just give people reason to go back <laughs> cool yeah yeah then sadly yes. time to say goodbye already all right now thanks so much for having me yeah, Thank it was a real pleasure. By. Yeah, Te that teaching Astrid about the game and explaining to us about everything, how it works, and uh, about Team Mid Autumn. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot from my side. Yeah, thanks Same so much from my, my side, side as well. <laughs> and, and I hope to see you soon, right? Yeah, totally agreed. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. Bye bye. Bye, everyone.